Hey everyone, I did a video before on the actual unboxing of the Verizon Hum. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check that out. But I'm going to show you some of what it does on your phone as far as the application. So you're going to download the Verizon Hum. And even if you don't have the actual Hum device, you can still use this application. It's just not going to do as much for you. It's just going to kind of manage your driving, but it's not going to tell you anything about your uh, vehicle. So one of the things that's really important when you have it is that it'll actually check your vehicle and allow you to also put in maintenance reminders. So let's take a look at that part first under auto health. So I'm going to click on that and it will actually do a uh, diagnostic and it does it regularly anyway. Um, and it'll tell you any issues you, get with, you have with your car. You can see it'll check your battery and it'll tell you how the voltage is as well. Make sure that that's good. If it's low, it's going to let you know. So you can, you know, replace your battery before you end up stranded. Um, coolant, it'll tell you that the coolant temperature is perfectly normal within range or if it's temperatures high, so maybe you need to change it, okay? Um, alternator, it's going to let you know how much power the alternator is giving out, which is um, also important in case you need to replace that. That's another part of your electrical system. It'll tell you about any mechanical issues that you need also, and so that's good as well. Electrical system problems, you know, you don't want to burn down your car, so it's important for it to test that. It does that as well, which is nice powertrain so basically the engine any issues that it detects and the way this is detecting this too so i want to just mention that is that it plugs into your onboard diagnostic port in your car and you can see where i install that in my um, in my other video i'll put a link to that video below um, so electrical also wiring anything any issues you have there and emissions so it's going to let you know whether there's any kind of um you know improper burning in the engine of your gasoline and stuff like that and that um, the uh, the um, oxygen sensors are reading properly and so on so uh, that's another really important thing so it'll actually go ahead and check throughout your car it'll also give you an idea to look at the history and if there was an issue at a certain period of time right okay Another thing you have here is um, reminders, right? Maintenance reminders. So you can remind yourself to change the oil at a particular mileage, um, odometer reading or, you know, time frame, rotate tires, and then create your own, what you want it to do, okay? And it'll remind you on those times. Another thing that it's going to do is um, we're going to go back to the dashboard here, and it'll tell you where you last parked your car, and that's uh, essentially right by my store and you can find your vehicle from there, okay? Another thing it's gonna do is it's gonna um, tell you about the your gas mileage and how many miles and so on, your driving history, as well as rate how well you're driving. So we're gonna go in here, and it's telling me day by day for the week how many miles I've driven. Uh, here we're going to a particular trip, it's telling you where I've gone, um, but it's also gonna tell you um, your gas mileage. For your trips okay so during the week here um, i drove 370 miles used 15 gallons of gas oops went a little fast there average mile per gallon is 25. Um, i was in the car 14 hours 39 minutes two hours and eight minutes yep that's my commute so that's kind of what happens there uh, you can actually look as well um, on particular days and uh, um, it's actually told me what my gas mileage was by the day so but you know you get the idea there. Here it's also going to give you a scoring of your driving. So it's going to tell you how well you're driving, okay? Using your phone, going too fast, cornering sharply, um, accelerating rapidly. So you know it'll kind of you know basically give you a sense of your vehicle. So maybe you don't care for yourself, but maybe you have children, you want to you know, teenagers or whatever, you want to see how well they're driving, what they're doing right or wrong, and, uh, you know, kind of educate them from that perspective. You could also turn it off if you didn't want that, all right? Uh, another thing you have is boundary alerts. Again, great for teenagers and, and uh, younger drivers, so you can set uh, where they're still allowed to drive, not allowed to drive, and it's going to let you know if they exit that particular boundary. So, here I can do a pin drop. I can set a particular location as well as an area, surrounding area of where, where they would be allowed to drive. Speed alert, same thing. They're driving you know, 90 miles an hour down a road or beyond a certain point. It's going to send you an alert letting you know that. Um, then it's going to allow you to pick routes as well as have navigation. So there's a lot of features packed into this. 
um, auto health being a big one. Another thing that it does is, you know, God forbid you have a crash. It's actually going to, um, through the Bluetooth speaker that comes with it that I actually have in my car and I speak about in my other video, it will come, uh, detect a crash and it will, you know, dispatch emergency services if you don't respond or, you know, it'll reach out to you. Also has the ability to reach out to a mechanic if, uh, if there's any issues or, or check engine light or something comes on and it diagnoses, they'll let you know what the issue is, okay? Um, again, here you can look at the, uh, the, the various different things. Also, roadside assistance. I mean, you know, for $10 a month, you're getting this, you're getting roadside assistance as well along with it. So you can cut that off your car insurance and it, you know, more or less, uh, you know, kind of pays for itself as well as discounts. So there's a lot of discount programs associated with it, which could also potentially pay for, you know, make it pay for itself. So local discounts, we'll take a look here, see what's going on. So various different uh, restaurants and places nearby me, um, GNC, for example, um, you know, a number of different places where I can get significant discounts. Okay. So that's a nice feature to have as well. And that's included for you. So, uh, so that's pretty nice. And then uh, you can also set your favorites and so on, distance, that kind of thing. And you go back into uh, uh, <clears throat> the home again. And uh, actually, I wanted to take a step back in this screen because um, I also saw in there that not only are there discounts for local, but uh, you can also do travel discounts. So everything from hotels to uh, flights, stuff like that, um, activities, that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, great deals there as well. Look, concerts, um, bike tours and rentals, walking tours, all kinds of stuff. So, um, you know, yet you have the power of Verizon and the discounts and deals they can get for you. So hope this review is really helpful for you. And, uh, if there's any questions on it, by all means, don't hesitate to ask me. I'd be happy to help you. So thanks for watching the video. And, uh, if you're interested in seeing a little more about the physical device itself, check out my other video, which is linked below and, uh, comment, ask any questions. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that uh, has it. Um, or is interested in getting it, or you think it might be valuable for, um, go ahead and tell them about it. And, uh, you know, if you're in the Northern Virginia area, or um, if you know me, reach out, I'll be happy to get one for you. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video.